Welcome to our very first why video. Now remember, this course is broken into both why and how videos, and in these why videos, there's no code. We're just going to learn the basics about why programmers do the things they do. So we're going to be learning mnemonics for these three topics, and then covering some of the questions that go along with them. Our first topic will be programming in general. What is programming, and how can it help you in your life? The second topic will be the Python programming language itself that we're learning in this course. What it is, where it got its name, how it compares to other languages, and the difference between the Anaconda and Classic install, which you'll learn more about in the upcoming videos. And then additional benefits that you get by thinking like a programmer in the rest of your life. And then we're going to talk about Jupyter Notebooks, an essential part of this course, what they are and why we care about them. Then our first mnemonic is the Tron light cycle. And the reason I chose it to represent the concept of programming is because everything in the world of Tron is a program. So it makes a lot of sense. What is programming? Well, it's a broad question, so let's give it a broad answer. Now, programming is an action. It's the thing that you do that will result in software, an algorithm, or an app in the same way that if you're a writer, you take an action of writing and it results in, you know, books, stories, screenplays. So to be a good programmer, you need to learn two different things. And the first one is to speak the language. And the second one is to communicate your goals. So I'm sure you're asking, how is that going to help me? Well, once you learn, it's only a handful of simple programming concepts. So robots, self-driving cars, apps, video games, websites, you name it. Every industry from space travel to farming is using software. And that software needs people like you and me to keep it getting better. For our second mnemonic, I chose a snake, and specifically one with a really long tongue. And I chose a snake as the mnemonic for the Python programming language because, one, obviously pythons are a type of snake, and also that long tongue kind of reminds me of the word linguistic for some reason, and linguistics is a great metaphor for how we're thinking about the programming language of Python. So what is Python? Now, Python is one of many programming languages that describe computer requests. So just like in English or French or Spanish, they're all different world languages that you can use to describe your needs. Like if you're at a restaurant, you can describe to the waiter what you want him to bring. And Python is one of many languages that we can use to describe to the computer what we want it to do. Now, it's often asked where Python gets its name from, and it actually comes from the origin of the movies, the Monty Python movies. It's kind of fun. In fact, in the APIs, you'll see little hints to the movies, and I'm not a huge fan of them, but they come up all the time in the, in the technical writing in kind of fun ways. Okay, so a question that we could debate forever, which is how does it compare to other programming languages? So I can't give you definitive answers, but some basic things are that Python's currently the most popular introductory teaching language at top US universities. Now, it's not the most popular in the world, but it is one of the most popular in almost every survey done. It's different in a lot of ways because it uses white space tabs instead of open and closed brackets, and it's generally English syntax, which makes it pretty easy to read. And it has great extensions. There's a great development community. There's a lot of people using it for computer science. It's open source, so you can trust that it's getting a lot of good updates. Okay, so let's take a second to talk about the difference between classic Python and Anaconda Python, because we're using Anaconda in this course. And Anaconda is a suite of tools and packages that contain Python inside of it. So it's everything you get from Python plus more. And it aims to simplify the package management, basically all the add-ons that we can use with Python, and make the deployment more simple. Now, if if you don't end up being a full-time programmer, there's still a lot of benefits in taking a course like this. One of the big ones is learning to think in a logical way. Programming is all about taking big abstract ideas and breaking them down into goals that can be done by doing specific actions. And that's the kind of thing that can help you in many aspects of your life. Our next mnemonic is a toy model of the planet. Jupiter, and it represents the concept of a Jupiter notebook. And my reasoning is that everyone remembers Jupiter. It's one of those basic things we all learned in high school. And for the mnemonic, I imagine like a little toy Jupiter that you could hang from the ceiling, plastic one of some kind. So what is a Jupiter notebook? Well, it's a tool that we're going to use to simplify our lives. It allows us to write code instead of in the terminal or inside of an IDE, but with a web application that allows us to work with live code in the same way Google Docs would. And it also allows us to put explanatory text and visualizations next to our code and execute it line by line instead of all at once. So it's just a tool to help us understand what we're doing. So just to recap, 
Our first mnemonic was the Tron light cycle, and that represented the concept of programming in general, which is really just a form of communication, albeit one with very specific instructions where we have to break big goals into actionable steps. And then we learned about the snake, which represents Python programming, a language that is very popular, especially among data scientists. It got its name from the Monty Python movies. And when we download Python Anaconda, we're downloading the Python programming language also surrounded by extra packages and tools that make our lives easier. And our third mnemonic, which was a toy model of the planet Jupiter, represented one of those tools, the Jupiter Notebook. And this is a powerful web application that we'll be using throughout the course to simplify writing Python. So let's move on to our first how video. See you in the next lecture. Subscribe to the Mnemonic Academy YouTube channel for daily uploads that will help you learn amazing concepts through effortless associations.